What's up guys and welcome back for another EVE Online video. This one I'm going to be kind of going over the spreadsheet that I use for determining the what, sh what I should mine basically and kind of what ship I should uh, kind of take out and do whatever. Plus it's just it's kind of something I built to uh, to just kind of monitor the market. So I might end up doing uh, a weekly market reports and stuff like that. But I'm going to give this this video is going to be essentially an overview on this spreadsheet that I built and I'm always kind of tweaking it. This is my very a lengthy uh, mining market uh, spreadsheet. What this is, this has every, basically every ice, moon, and ore item in it and that includes compressed and batch compressed and all that stuff. So essentially what I have here is I have also the volume right here that helps me calculate ISK Prim 3, which is the metric I normally go off of. Margin, the uh, profit margin is essentially a number that takes the max buy order and um, the uh, min sell order and calculates a profit. If you wanted to like, you know, buy or with the uh, buy order and then sell with the sell order. And then here we have sell min, sell average, sell max, and then also market volume, which is really important. I'll explain why I have this in here. And then we have the same thing for buy, buy min, buy average, buy max, buy volume. Now, over here in this area, I have basically every ship from Venture all the way to Mackinac. And what this is, is it's using the ISK Prim 3, and then also the given ship's mining hold to basically calculate what a maximum mining hold with that um, certain market item or that raw material would be. This helps you calculate um, how much value you can kind of stuff into that mining hold. So this is everything unfiltered, but what I normally do is under name, I'll usually go in and I will just take out all compressed because batch compress and compress, uh, almost all compressed ore from raw is going to go up in value. So I'm going to take out everything that says compressed, which also grabs all the batch compressed stuff, which is basically legacy compressed items. And then the other thing I do here is I go to, um, I go to buy volume. And I usually set this to greater than zero because normally I'll do this for the sell volume as well. And this is why having this is important. Because normally items that don't have any buy or sell orders are going to skew your profit margins or your ISK Prim 3. So I try not to have any of that stuff in there either. We can also drill down as far as ice or or moon. So right now we're kind of kind of look at what the current market is for ore. And then normally what I'm doing is I'm going to sort by ISK per M3. And this will uh, update and it's about to pull all of the uh, market data so is per in three is important because the value of an item can be higher but if the density is also greater the amount that you can uh, fit into a mining hold uh, varies so i usually go off of is per in three because if i can go out with a certain ship type i want to get the most amount of isk value in that mining hold before i have to come back empty in the station that makes my trips worth it more, which is why it's a metric that I like to use. So as you can quickly see here, you've got some of the normal uh, normal players at the top. Um, this uh, this new rare ore right here is just amazing, right? Um, we'll take this one actually. This is the one that produces isogen, but like let's go over here to the ship section of that. So for that specific ore type, it is. Uh, if you fill up a venture, it's going to be 5.8 million, and then 14 for prospect, 22, and all the way up to 51 million if you go out there and fill up with that stuff in the Mackinac. And then you have the normal uh, Poshman ore here, some Jet Ochre, Rakavine, uh, Mercoxis. Now, Kernite is low sec, but if you like, we can scroll down this list and kind of start to see, like, if you're going to be mining in high sec. You can, uh, you'll have to scroll down pretty far because that stuff is uh, pretty plentiful. But like right now for the market, dense Veldspar and Veldspar, actually Vel regular Veldspar actually has better numbers than um, concentrated Veldspar. 
but even plague as you see here plague while it has you know um a higher value it uh it is actually worth uh so like here this is margin if you had to buy for buy orders and sell but like here's the is per m3 for Veldspar, 110.1 and then for plague 80. now plague that's the thing is plague assist would essentially have higher value per unit but when you constantly when you calculate in the uh actual density of it you're better off actually filling up with Veldspar. Now let's use Veldspar as a good uh, indicator here. So we're on Veldspar right now. So a full venture of Veldspar bid about 550,000, uh, about 1.3 for a prospect, 2 million for a, an endurance. But then come out here, it's about 4.8 for a Mackinac. So you start to see here really closely with the uh, conditional um, formatting. If you're going to go out and mine Veldspar, you're basically going to be better off in a Mackinac or a Retriever. And then let's keep going down this list here. You can see Scordite is way down here on this list. And then uh, all this other stuff down here. Solid uh, Pyro is way, way down. So that's a, and you can also sort this by uh, total volume. Uh, we can see what has the majority of presence on the market let's go here let's uh let's go to ice let's go look at ice products right now this is regular raw ice products we'll go into a uh, recalculation here for is per m3 and you can see right here crystallos is uh king of the ice right now followed by a uh, dark glitter geldius glare crust which is crazy glare crust used to be like the worthless ice but you're, we're all talking about this is Prim 3. But now let's go look at the ships here and see uh, kind of what you, uh, is more beneficial to run. So as you can see here, if you're going to be running ice, if you're going to, let's say, go after just strictly Crystallos, you do really well with uh, Prospect Endurance, Procure, and then uh, Retriever, Skiff, and then obviously Mackinac, King of the Mining Ships. Obviously a lot of this stuff doesn't matter. This uh, section of the spreadsheet doesn't matter if you're getting boosted and you're compressing. But I like to know what uh, what full raw mining holds are valued at for certain items. And let's go to here. Uh, glacial mass is way down there on the list and all that. All right, let's go look at moon ore. And this is going to be every type of moon ore, right? It's going to be exceptional all the way, common to exceptional and everything. Let's go and do a recalc. And um, if you're in high sec doing a moon war, you're probably not going to have access, or even in null sec, you, you're very rarely going to have access to uh, exceptional level uh, level ore. But also, this is also going to calculate um, the bonus frac stuff as well. So a lot of this stuff is uh, exceptional and all of that. I probably will end up adding another uh, field in here to denote uh, the different types, so ubiquitous and uncommon. So you can kind of... Um, but the idea here is if you're on a moon frack and then you're like looking at the field, you could essentially go in here and look and see like, okay, zeolites, right? What is, uh, what is the value of zeolites and has it spread across, you know, the mining holds and stuff like that. And also kind of what volume is too, because you could, if, let's say you're going to like go out there and mine and you're just going to put up, like, let's say you were going to put up raw um, for uh, buy orders. You could, you know, technically go in here and see what uh, or if you let's say you're gonna like sell the raw ore to buy orders you could go in here and it's already kind of sorted when you look at like and sort by is per m3 it's already kind of um in that format here but as you can see a lot of this stuff is uh is some of this stuff doesn't have market orders or some stuff is really low like this is like uh you know you actually lose money on this stuff here because of what the uh the max buy versus the min sell is because there's just probably not the likely that there's like 1200 uh volume for sell orders as opposed to you know 240,000 on that stuff and then let's see what else we got and then also we can look at uh we can pretty much look at all compressed stuff as well so let's go and throw everything back in here we can change this to text contains compressed now you're gonna probably ignore the uh the batch compressed stuff just because 
that stuff is kind of a legacy. Let's see. I'll probably figure out a way to um, edit to where we can uh, filter out uh, batch uh, all by itself. Because like the thing is, is like if I want to show just compress and not raw, um, if I just say you know exclude uh, the word batch, it's still going to show everything that doesn't have like raw or and compressed or and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and uh, sort this uh, isprim three, and that isprim three is just so uh, important, especially if you're traveling and you're selling and you're gonna end up selling everything to uh, Jita. And the, if you're not selling the Jita, this the spreadsheet's not gonna do a whole lot of good for you. But you're just gonna have you, you can use it to price your uh, private sales for the most part. When you have all the more uh, fields we have shown, the longer it takes to kind of pull pull everything from uh, from here. When we start kind of seeing an, an idea, seeing all this legacy batch stuff is is pretty high, and there's still some. The only reason they're still showing up since we have filtered out market orders is because the there are some still market and our buy order and sell orders out there, which you can adjust that. You can like you can say, oh well, I only want to see volume that's over like ten thousand. Which shows you know plentiful stuff, and also I guess like see this right here. This has like a uh, buy order volume of six, and see like a lot of this stuff here, a lot of the batch stuff, uh, pure jasmine, so like that has into like the eight millions. But let's go to the first one that doesn't say batch here. That's compressed abyssal. Da, da, da. Yeah, it's gonna be your abyssal order. As you can see, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing as raw. Which is why I don't really try to calculate too much on compression, because compression is almost always a linear increase in value. So this um, just not showing compressed at all, getting rid of that batch stuff and all that is usually a better indicator. But this um, I don't even know how you say this, dude. But the raw, the rare ore that you can mine that has like isogen is just one of the best things you can do in high sec right now. Takes a little bit to find it, but then like Mercoxus, Jet Ochre, Rakavine, like going to Poshman and mining, any of that stuff is, is great. Even um, Spudmain's way down here on this list, actually. So if you are going to Poshman right now, um, Spudmain's probably not the best thing you could be mining. Technically, it would be uh, you know, this other stuff. But if you're in Nullsec, you know, it's still going to be Mercoxus day, uh, day in and day out. And High Sec, if you want to hunt for it. It's going to be this stuff right here. And then obviously like, uh, you know, exceptional moon ore. And all that stuff. But I figured I'd kind of, you know, go through this little spreadsheet with you guys. And uh, show you kind of what I use to determine what to mine and what to take out and all that. I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'm going to have this available for public. Uh, it really de de depends. I might end up just doing like weekly market videos. And we'll kind of go through this and, and look for uh, maybe outliers. And I'm continually making like progress or uh, tweaks to this to uh, help drill down and kind of filter out a lot of stuff. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.